Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Owen Queen Trent. Today is Mini Monday Madness. We're painting a mini window box, you know, simple square with the little shutters and some flowers we're going to wash in. Very simple and easy. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Let's get started. Okay, so I sketched out my little three by three inch piece of uh, arch is 100% cotton paper. I have my paper towels, my palette, my water jars, my paints, my Princeton number eight long round brush. And I sketched out the little window box. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, you guys could totally do this. Let me get a pen so you can see better how I sketched it out. So you're just basically making a square or rectangle, you know, and then you have the other one inside. Then how many panes you want? You can do multi panes or I'm doing like a single pane in the middle with a few below. And then for the shutters, uh, you actually might want to put like another frame piece around. And then the shutters, just angle the line going that way and then down and then pull it down and then have a line going downward. And then the inside line slight angle and then down slight angle then up if i had time i might put this on the patreon um it's kind of tight this week i'm on a vacation slight vacation just a couple of days so i'm not going to have much time for much of anything so in the bottom you do the square you just, you're just roughing it in because we're going to be painting very loosely and you're just putting the rectangle across for the flower box with the little lines leaning inward and there's your basic shape of the window box and then we're going to be roughing in all the little flowers and they're not really details they're just going to be washed in color and then we'll put some gray shadows behind all of it and pretty simple so here's our little piece of three inch by three inch paper you can start off by doing the flowers first. It might be easier than the uh, window itself or vice versa. You can kind of do both at the same time. So I'm going to grab my paint brush, get it wet. I have this Prussian blue up here. I'm going to add a little of this permanent alizarin crimson. So right now it's purple. And I add a little varying green hue. I'm going to try and get this a nice gray. Or you can just use black and make it gray. Turn off my brush and I'll add a little yellow too. This is the cadmium yellow deep. So now it's getting green. You're going to keep adding the color as magenta. And then you have the brown color and then the blue. And you have your blackish color, which will be gray. So for the window, I'll go inside the window pane here with the dark grayish black color, leaving the rest white. See, I'm going inside this area. Just painting in that. Just painting the little panes in. And don't be uh, stuck on that it's perfectly straight. You're just gonna, it's supposed to be a vignette of like just a little window box, you know, window pane with a window box. It doesn't have to be something that's very serious. So I'm just gonna fill this in. You're already seeing the window come to shape just by doing this. And you can go in and add a deeper hue kind of off to the side here. If you want to take some black, you can go ahead and do that. I mean, I mix the colors to make that if you don't have black, but most people have black. You can add the black and the blue, get a little darker. 
I'm just dabbing in some really deep tones in here on the left hand side of it kind of in an angle like that you see over in here and I'll pull it down a little bit I don't want to get too close to this area because that's where my flower is going to go I'm just going to wash around some of this paint and leave some space for the flowers Well, that's what I'm saying. If you do the flowers first, then you can wash around it. That could also work. So we might try that. And we're not, even though there's a window box drawn in here, I think we're not even actually going to see it. We're going to actually paint all the flowers and not even see it. So I have this magenta. Very bright. And all we're going to do is, I've got really loose water. We're just going to be dabbing with this to brush. See, I'm just pushing the paint around like this. If you squint, you would say, oh, these are flowers. There's not particular type petals. We're just pushing the paint around. See, I'm just dabbing it around like this. Tapping it. Leaving some white spaces in between. Some up here. You can do teeny ones and bigger ones. So you get the feel that the flowers have small petals and larger petals. And it doesn't have to be magenta. You can make a blue, purple, whatever you feel like doing. Now I'm going to grab my Viridian Green Hue. It's very bright. I'm going to add this Cadmium Yellow Deep to it. It's going to be nice and bright green, limey. I'm going to keep adding more. I need more paint, so I'm going to add some more. And then I'll take some of that Prussian blue and I'll tone it down just a bit. See how you can make all these different greens. And then if it still seems a little bright, you take some of just the tip of the magenta and you throw that in. And see, it's going to get that brown in there. Keep playing around with adding more color to get the color you want. You don't have to be copying exactly the color I have. All right, so I have a green that I, I'm happy with. And I'm just going to go in, take my brush, and just wash in some leaves here. This is still kind of wet, so I don't want to get too close to it. And we could put some spiky ones coming up here and add little leaves. Like that. And some more down this way, hanging down. I want to get a little more yellow in here. See, I'm just pushing out the colors. Just with the brush, just moving it around. This is still fairly wet, so I don't want to get too close to that pink yet. So I'm going in, adding in because it's getting muddy, getting close to it. Some greenery kind of cascading downward. Some out here. Kind of get some more of the yellow. I want some bright green, actually. I didn't think I wanted it, but now I do. So I'm just going to add some out here. Just OK, so we're just moving the green paint around. Like so. Let that dry a bit. Um, for the shutters, might want to do like a turquoisey kind of green. So I'll take that same Viridian. It's kind of a turquoisey color. I'll add Prussian blue to it. Oh, a little too much. Get that green again. So we have this nice pretty turquoise. And I'm going to wash in a light tone of the shutters. It's a little too bright. Put some more water here. There we go. Just going to wash in this color. That's why I painted the flowers, and I didn't want to put that on top. And I'm just fishing over here. 
We'll have to let that dry and we'll come back in with the deeper tones and add in the detail. When we let that dry, we're going to go and add some gray details to the window pane. So you get some of that gray, wash it down. I always dab it in my paper towel, it helps take off the excess water. And we're just going to add in some detail up here. I'm going to fill in a little bit of color. And here. You can get some darker detail too if you want. Just in the top. Pull it down. Go back inside here. Just going to add some lines going down. Almost as if there were curtains behind it. See that? Go in here. This is still drying, this is still drying. Now we're going to do a little shadow underneath the greenery with the same gray. I'm going to water it down. And we're going to pull in some shadows just underneath the greenery. It's a little too wet, so I'm going to have to dab in a paper towel. So you're just going to put it underneath here. Just under the greeneries. And pull some down a little bit. The shadow and get the darker grays up into the greenery. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, my paints, my stuff is moving all over the place. So we're just going to kind of go on underneath them. Now that this is kind of dry, you can go in and you can add in some greens in between that magenta right up in here. See up in here. And then you get some dark, like right concentrated magenta. And I would just go in and add, just tap in some dark tones of that color down on the bottom here. I'm just tapping it in all around. Just gives it that more dimension. It's very simple. If you're doing like a tiny little piece like this, you're just going to do, it's just a suggestion of the flowers. You know this flowers because of the color. So this is still, it's a little dry. So we're going to get the darker tone of the turquoise. So I'm using very little water with the Viridian green and this Prussian blue can get a deeper turquoise color. It's not as wet. And then we're going to go in and remember those details we drew in? The lines going downward here. And you can put in some slots, you know, the slats of the shutters like this. You don't have to fill the whole thing in. See, I'm just giving a suggestion of the slats. You know that's what it is. It just changes up. It's more of, like I said, the vignette style. I'm putting the darker tone out here on the edge. I might want to add a little more green. And inside here. And a little bit on the outside up here. And we can add a little shading on the outside of the shutter too, in the gray. Try not to get too close to it while it's wet. But just add some gray shadow. A little purplish gray.
You don't necessarily have to put it on both sides. If you wanted to, you could. But I would probably keep it on one side. Just go back in with that dark tone. Keep layering it. Just in here. See? And then out here. If you want to indicate like some bricks or siding above the window pane, if it's wood, so I'm adding a little line here. Just another architectural detail. You could do that or add some of that gray. You know, like I said, could be some bricks or siding. Or either just add some more gray out there. Just really loose though. It's going into a pinkish gray. It's okay, I can just swipe it away, get some water on it, take a paper towel, and just wash that color if I didn't like it, which I didn't. And then I'm going to wash in some of this green turquoise. Just a little more detail on the window shutter. Looking a little too flat. Got to get this punched up a little more. It's pretty simple, right? If you want to go into the window itself again and add in some more gray details, don't too much because then it's going to look, you're going to see the white part. That's why you keep adding on the other one, the inside one. You can go add in here. And once this dries, a little more dark detail gray down in here. And that's pretty much it. Another vignette. Simple mini Monday madness. So like I said, you can make this any color you choose. You can go in and make it multicolors. You can add in some yellow. You know, change it up. It doesn't have to be pink. It could be purple. It could be blue. The window itself could be a different, could be a color. You know, it doesn't have to be any of these colors. Play around with it. See, I'm going to go back in and add some more detail. Once it dries, you know, you see, oh, it's too light. You want to add in darker tones. But this is a quickie today. It's cute, right? Ta-da! Mini Monday Madness window pane. <laughs> and I think you can draw this. It's pretty simple. It's just a square box with some window panes. See, I'm going back in and adding a little darker shadows with the gray coming down a little bit. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up because like I said um, sometimes that's sporadic with the, the timing. I'm trying to keep it a certain time but it doesn't always work that way especially in the summer with all the craziness going on. Summertime. Um, and also don't forget to check out my Patreon. I'm adding new exclusive videos and downloads. They're weekly. Um, I don't have some people asking about drawings to go with some of my tutorials that are on YouTube. Well, the Patreon's fairly new, so I don't have, I don't do drawings for every single tutorial, and I don't have drawings for all that, and some of the ones that they were asking about were from a long time ago. So no, only the new ones coming up that are on the Patreon will have drawings for that. Sketches to go by for the tutorial, if that makes any sense. Anyway, enough rambling on. Have a great day. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.